hey YouTube. So I popped into TK Maxx in St. Helens to pick up some bits that we'd ordered. Uh, they'd come through through the um, web store. If you haven't seen that video, check out yesterday's video and you'll be able to see that. But when I was in the store, I had a really quick look around and there was new stuff again. Check it out. So when we think the stores are almost over, they're really not. Um, so I did pick up a couple of bits. Um, and yeah, the same old, same old. I'll show you what we picked up. Um, the first thing I picked up was a trio of pillows because we really needed pillows. And the reason that I got these um, is more of a sentimental reason than anything else. These were made by Alex and Zoe, set of three pillows. They were 14 99 And the reason that we got them is because it's a trick or a treat and the reason I got them is because our three cats um, are called trick and treat and pumpkin so yeah it's a very sentimental reason for these uh, these are probably going to go up no these are these are definitely going to go up in the bedroom because that's where they spend most of their time and live most of their life but yeah really nice um, I think they're 100% cotton um, really soft really squishy um, really nicely embroidered we've got a couple of um, pillows that these guys have made over the years um, and they've lasted really really well um, and there are every day which are out all the time so i saw these on the shelves for 15 pounds and couldn't leave them ray dunn ray dunn's everywhere this year and jen's slightly obsessed uh, she wasn't with me on this visit so i've picked up these candles and hopefully she does want them these are things that i've not seen on any of the websites and things they're not necessarily um halloween related they are more of the autumn collection that she's got coming through at the minute um two of them again very very not halloweeny um there's a, a scent blessed and this is autumn breeze and they're so so heavy with these really nice decorative lids and a really nice kind of autumn leaf with the rate it says ray dunn or um artisan collection um you see this is i'm not a big fan of this one this is autumn breeze this kind of has a really grassy garden kind of smell to it so i know a lot of people will really like that one secondly is sweater weather which i think is more of a christmasy kind of thing rather than autumn uh, and this smells like autumn orchard which is a much nicer smell kind of very florally scent on that one um two that i do really like um is hallow fall so this is hallow fall in green we were lucky enough to pick up the hallow fall which is just next to me um a couple of weeks ago uh, this comes in a completely different pot without the lid it's a much smaller candle as well that one is a pumpkin spice where this one is falling leaves and yet to be fair it kind of smells like um 
kind of flo um kind of grassy florally um but it also has that kind of wet rain kind of smell to it can you get after a really warm day um, and then the last one, the one that I actually kind of like, it simply just says fall. I like the orange pumpkin uh, colouring to it. This is toffee pumpkin flavour, which is spectacular. Uh, really, really, really sweet. Um, each one of these candles were $12.99. Um, they're the Ray Dunn Classic. Um, simple text. Love the fact that they are, they look handmade. I know they're not, they're mass manufactured, but they look handmade. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of waiting for Jen to get home from work to see if she wants to keep these. If not, there's a, um, a friend I've got in work who is obsessed with the stuff. So I might just pass them on to her and see what she thinks. And then the last thing, which I was so happy about, we'd seen online, I'd seen two pictures. We didn't think we'd be able to get it. It was more expensive. It was a £50 item. And if you've seen anything on my videos before, you will have seen that I'm kind of obsessed with these plants. But this plant is rather, rather large. And I want to say rather large, I mean it is three foot tall. It is huge. It doesn't fit all on the screen. Um, I will get some really good close-ups with this guy. Um, we are in the process of um, changing things around and hanging shelves. We need to find somewhere for him to go. At the moment, there is about 10 of these little guys sat on the floor at the end of the bath. Um, so I plan to get him with them. We may end up putting a special shelf up for him to hang him on the wall or he's going to stay on the floor. He's very heavy. It was one of the first times that I've walked to the store rather than driving around. So I had to carry him back, which was a bit mad. But yeah, um, three of the large plants. Um, there's been four of the smaller plants and these are also available as little tiny um, figures that were released this year I think they were about seven eight quid so we picked them up not knowing this was coming out um this this mo this morning was on the web store at 7 a.m but there was only two available I don't know if they'll still be there but for such a delicate item I'd find it really difficult to get that shipped across and if you do get it delivered to the store we've had much better interactions having things delivered to the store rather than um rather than picking them um, rather than having them delivered to the home I believe lots of things are breaking that way but yeah this is this is amazing. I love this. Um, we've got a couple more walk around. I know Jen's hitting the store this morning on the way into work. So I'll get that video up tomorrow. Um, yeah, I've just broken 450 followers. So thank you, each and every one of you. If you're not following, why follow? You're watching the videos. Um, right, if I can hit, if I can hit 666 followers by Halloween, I will actually become active on social media and I will start posting daily um, on my Instagram. Yeah, I'll do that. I can get photographs of all the stuff and post that round and keep give updates uh, and I'll keep that going. Um, if we get it before Halloween, I'll start posting right the way up and beyond daily and I'll try and post a couple of times a week after that. Um, and I might try and do something if I can hit a thousand followers by the end of the year. Yeah, let's see if I can do that. That's a challenge. Let's let's see, let's see what happens. Um, yeah, any comments down, if you see anything in any stores, if there's anything I've missed, please let me know. Um, there is a lot of comments that are coming through. I see the same faces and the same names. Thank you so much for the support and thank you for being involved. Um, and yeah, until next time, guys. Take care. Mm -hmm.